The Great Wall of China was pretty epic. So I've just had an awesome week in Beijing with my friends from Bristol. It's a Bristol too. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So I'm going mm. UK and the Channel mm. Islands. We are too. Mm. Beijing massive. And I'm on to the next chapter now. Stopping off at Xi'an to see the terracotta army. The terracotta army was pretty nuts. It was only discovered in 1974 by a farmer who was digging for water. But under the surface lay 8,000 unique soldiers built by the first emperor of China. It took 700,000 people to build and they were all killed upon its completion to ensure Qin's undead army would never be found. To see the terracotta army and then on the way to Wudang. I actually have no idea what monastery I'm gonna stay in. I don't even know if there are real monasteries left. Only time will tell. Is this the end of my fun life? I've been having such a fun time here. And then am I gonna have to just be living on a hard rock floor and being beaten up by monks all day? It's one of those moments where you think, George, you've done it again. How have you got yourself into this sort of situation? But nonetheless, I'm excited. It's gonna be an adventure and getting on the train in 20 minutes. So here we go. Okay, made it to Wudang Shan, but it's bloody freezing. A taste of what's to come. The next step is to find somewhere to learn Kung Fu. Ho -ho!